All right, so now a couple now by the title, y'all probably wondering what you find over this time. All right, so bro, this bitch ass nigga right here. Okay, so his name is Jeremiah. Okay, I I don't even give a fuck if people see this shit. I don't really care. I don't care because this is the last motherfucking straw, bro. I tell you, this is the last motherfucking straw. Time and time again, I deal with bullshit like this. And y'all wonder why I separate myself from type of bullshit like this. Because it's a common fucking occurrence in my fucking life, bro. And it's just shit's a headache, bro. I don't want to hear, I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't want to fucking be near this shit. I don't even want to be associated with this shit, bro. Because this shit is too much, bro. Now, uh, now let's I'm gonna tell y'all everything right here in this video I'm gonna tell y'all right here in this video slash stream like I'm gonna upload it to my channel like in a couple days I'm gonna edit it and shit like that so like for those who wasn't tuning into the stream like y'all can see it right now but um what I'm about to say is okay so this nigga we almost got into a fight bro now we wasn't fighting fighting we almost got to scrapping bro and I'm about to pull this niggas of shit on Facebook uh, in a couple minutes but right now I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna tell y'all what happened um a, like a week ago right a week ago this nigga this nigga Jeremiah he's always talking shit this is nigga problem bro he talks shit way too much on a day-to-day -day basis he talks shit way too much way too much as a fucking human being bro every day of the week blah 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 that's that's all you hear from this nigga like a fucking AR bro like he runs his mouth way too fucking much bro like and I've and I've been dealing with his ass since freshman year and I finally decided saying that enough is a motherfucking enough and I decided to step up for myself so about a good solid week ago right we were playing a 1v1 he's caught now like, he's get the trash talking oh I'm weak this and this and whatever and now not only now you can call me weak my actions will speak for because I am a baller on this fucking court so my actions will speak louder than my fucking words so now okay so here's here's the deal yo it's the game to, to 11 1v1 make it take it game to 11 up by uh go by ones and twos have to win by two so um now keep this in mind this nigga was straight up using post moves the whole time now I, I can tell you right now if you use post moves against someone else like now, now this nigga, he can't shoot, he can't dribble, he can't drop to the lane. This nigga can't do nothing. All he knows is post moves. He's literally a post scorer on NBA 2K17. He's literally a 5'10 post scorer. He's he's like a 5'6 point, uh, a 5'6 post scorer. Like, I'm telling, I'm telling y'all. So, now, this nigga, he was using post moves the whole game. I was shooting strictly jump shots this whole entire, through the whole entire 1v1. I now I drove to the lane a few times. I got my layups in, but I was primarily shooting because I got a jumper. Now I wasn't going down low. I wasn't, you know, like contact finishing. I wasn't doing any of that. I was doing like strictly jump shots from limitless range, catching out, pulling from deep. You know what I'm saying? That's my signature shit. So now. Once, okay, so the game gets to 10 to 11. This nigga does post moves. As soon as this nigga gets to 8, uh, as soon as this nigga gets to 6, that's when he starts doing post moves and shit. So then, to sum up this story, uh, I lost by 2. I wasn't even, now hold up, before you even start getting in the chat with that shit, or in the comment section with that shit, I'm telling you that once, that once uh, I lost that game, like, I was about to shake his hand, dap him up, say, like, bro, it's all cool, like, I lost, you won, I'm gonna I'm be the better person, right? So then this nigga gets to talking his shit again. He gets to talking that shit again. And y'all know, y'all know this, because I got a quick motherfucking trigger on my anger. Because once he started talking shit, he started talking shit about me, my squad, GBH, like, my clan members, my YouTube channel. Once he got to my YouTube channel, that's when I got set the fuck off. That's what really set me the fuck off. That's really what set me the fuck off. So I don't chuck this nigga the ball. Like, bam, hits the back of his head. So then, when, once he actually turned around and looked at me, I'm like, nigga, what you about to do? Like, and then he starts talking the shit again, calling me bitch ass niggas. Like, pussy ass nigga. Like, and then he chucked the ball, he chucked the ball back at me. He couldn't throw for shit, by the way. It didn't even hit me. And then, like, I threw the ball back at his ass, and then he got angry again. He chucked the ball back at me. It actually hit me, but it didn't do shit to me because the adrenaline was pumping through me, so I didn't feel it. So, now, now, once that happened, he actually starts squaring up like he about to do something. Now, I'm telling you, if you, if you fight me, it's literally going to be a fucking, hosp a fucking ambulance arriving on the scene after what I'm do done to you. I can guarantee you that. 
Cause most of y'all niggas, y'all do not know me like that. If you get into a fight with me, I'm gonna I don't I don't fight fair. That's number one. I do not fight fair. So I'm gonna be doing doing all type of shit. I'm gonna be doing all type of shit. So now once he actually starts getting in my face, I'm like, now my this one my boy, um what's his name? Trayvon, my boy is Trayvon. Um, Jordan and Tyler, Eric, they started like holding us back because I was a red. If he now, this is the type of school that we went to. We went to a school that whoever throws the first punch or gets in the most amount of trouble. So I'm I'm waiting for him to swing first because I'm not about to have something pop off. Uh, I beat this nigga ass and then I end up in the Chicago jail. So I'm not about I'm not about to do that. So, I'm waiting for him to swing first. So then, like, once he does that, I am I walk away, right? So then, I walk away. So then, as soon as he starts, as soon as I start walking away, he chucks his nigga the ball again. And I rush up, and I'm like, nigga, who the fuck you think you are? Fucking throwing a ball at me and shit. Like, I was really about to knock this nigga the fuck out. That's what's about to fucking happen. And I'm about to pull up his Facebook so y'all can spam his shit the fuck up. If y'all got Facebook, spam his shit. Once I show you it on screen. Because I don't, I don't give a fuck if this whole motherfucking school sees it. I don't give a flying fuck. I'm telling you right now. I do not give a fuck. Alright. Now, once. So then once he chucks me the ball. Like, uh, like, I actually decided to go off in the locker room and chill. Because I was done. After that, I was done. I was done. So then. Like, because if something pop off. Like, I'm going to be in some, uh, in some trouble. Like, I'm probably going to have to go to jail. So, now, now this was Fast Forward Thursday, or Fast Forward Wednesday. Like, I made a Facebook post saying that if you beat someone in a 1v1 using post moves the entire game, and you win by two points, you are not good at all. And that's, that's when I called him out on, um, that's when I called him out on, uh, whatchamacallit, Facebook. Like, and now, this might be a pussy move for some of y'all, but I blocked him so I can talk shit. Now, now... You can't tell me that now. I'll give I'll give my credit what credits due. Like I was I was being a bitch in the situation for blocking him and talking shit. Now either way, I would have still talked shit if I had him blocked or unblocked. That's just how it is with me. But then once like the day after that, which is Thursday, which was yesterday, uh, like once third period gym, third period gym, right? So then I get there, I'm baked out, I'm baked out. You know what I'm saying? Like I got my bait mask on deck, like. You know what I'm saying? I keep a couple bait masks with me on, on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was strapped with the all black. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was strapped with the all black. So, then, with the bait mask, of course. And then, like, I was just, I wasn't about to do no type of drama. I was just about to sit here and hoop with my bros. That was it. Um, like, maybe try to get, get some IRL footage, which I still haven't got. Um, because of this bullshit. But, once, um, but, like, I was just no type of drama. So, once... This nigga, once this nigga, he, I can already tell, once this nigga started running his mouth again as soon as I walked in that bitch, and, like, I already knew it was going to be one of them type of days. So, once we get to the locker room, because I had to go change, because I didn't have myself under my, um, clothes. I had it in my bag, so I was going to change to the locker room. So then, once this nigga, once, once this nigga gets in here, he starts running his motherfucking mouth. He starts running his motherfucking mouth again. Now... Now, once he starts running his mouth, that's what I was, I was about to do. No type of drama, but once he started calling me bitch-ass nigga, you a pussy nigga, you just gonna block me and say shit, like, uh, that's, that's when I absolutely drew the line. That's when I absolutely drew the line. So then once he start, and then he started coming up in my face, he literally pressed his forehead against my forehead, saying what I'm gonna do. Now, this is how I was. Hold on, hold on a second. You know what I'm saying? I had the bait mask on like this. I had the bait mask on like this. So, once I have my vape mask on like this, now, I was just going to simply hoop in this. I was going to straight up hoop in my mask. So, once, once I actually got, once he actually got in my face, I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of my face before I beat your ass. Straight like that. Get the fuck out of my face before I beat your motherfucking ass in front of all these niggas in this motherfucking locker room, bitch. Like, that's how I was fucking got to do this nigga. That's how I did this nigga. So then, as soon as he got in my face, he pulled out. Hold on. He pulled out his motherfucking I cracked ass motherfucking iPhone and shit. And then he started recording me on the Snapchat. At that point, I was about to knock his bitch ass out. I was about to knock his bitch ass out. 
So, once he asked, once I saw him start to record me, he said, look at this bitch ass nigga right here, having the camera on me and shit. Like, I was about to knock that phone out of his hand and break his shit. So then he, once I actually got that camera off me, he actually started screwing up like, bro, like, and I'm like, my nigga, what you about to do? What you about to do? So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once he actually did that, once he actually did that, I was like, I, I finished changing. I was like, you know what? You're not even worth my time. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even about to deal with you. I'm about to go hoop and chill the hell out. That's what I'm. That's what I was about to do. So I got dressed. You know, I got, I was hoop. Oh, I be hooping the hoodies. So I had on shorts and a hoodie with with my D roses. You know what I'm saying? So once I actually did that, um, like he said, call me. I said, like he still running his mouth. He took, he runs his mouth too motherfucking much. So once he said, uh, I called him a bitch ass nigga like three times as I'm walking out. Like you ain't about that action. Now this the thing, don't come at me with all that talking if you ain't about that action. I'm telling you that right now. Do not come at me with all that talking if you ain't about that action. Like Lil Reese and Chief Keith said in the hit song that got six million views on YouTube four years ago, you ain't really with the talking. We just bout that action. Don't be coming at me with that in in my motherfucking face and threatening my life and shit. Now he was threatening me about how I'm gonna fucking rob you. I'm gonna fucking stomp my face in. Like how about I pay you to get my face stomped in? You say you gonna rob me. You say you was about to take my baby supreme shit. You was about to take my bait mask. You about to take my bait shit. Like do it then, nigga. Like because once you lay one motherfucking paw on me, say goodbye. Shout out to my nigga Solomonati. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to your life. That's the last motherfucking thing that you about to do in this bitch. I can tell you that right now. So then, once that actually happens, like, now, uh, that was before I actually decided to walk off. Now, fast forward a couple minutes later, as I'm walking out and calling a bitch-ass nigga as I'm walking out to the gym room about to go hoop. So then, he like, call me a bitch-ass nigga one more time. And I'm like, bitch-ass nigga? As I'm walking out the door? Like, seriously, like, like, I hate, like, the one thing that you'll know about me is that I don't bite my tongue for nobody. I do not bite my tongue for nobody. That's what you're going to know about me. I don't give a fuck if you're my mom's. I don't give a fuck if you're my family member. I don't give a fuck if you're the drug kingpin. I don't, nigga, I, don't, I don't even give a fuck if you're the president. Like, I don't bite my tongue for nobody. I don't bite my tongue for nobody. So, once that happens, like, uh, as I'm walking out to the gym court, right, I hear some stampeding in the, in the back um, in the back of my, um, in the back of the locker room, so then this nigga, he gets out, gets out of the motherfucking room, he pushes me in my back, I almost fell over, and I'm like, and I'm just sitting up here with this bait mask, like, I'm just sitting up here, like, I know this nigga did not just push me right now, because this shit is about to be set off more than a fucking Chicago shooting, like, that's what, that's what I was about to say. So, that's, that's what I was like. So then, I'm like, I'm like, I'm literally holding it back. Because, right now, I could have fought him. Because he put hands on me first. Right? But my better judgment was saying, okay, he put hands on me first. So, I have all my rights to fight back. Or fight him right now and beat his ass in front of everybody. In front of all the bitches. In front of the popular. In front of the popular niggas. In front of all the sport niggas. Everybody. So then, once... He actually does that. Like I'm like, you know what? It's a free day. My substitute teacher is still isn't back to work yet, unfortunately. So then, once that actually happens, like um, I'm like, I go, I go off into the bleachers, and I'm like pacing back and forth, and he's still running his mouth. He runs his mouth 24/7. He's not with the talking, and he ain't got that action either. Now, uh, let me take a look at the chat real quick. I should have raven dude. Uh, hot mask. Uh, thanks, man. Um, ass. Um, uh, I just got here. What the fuck has happened? Like, I'm explaining it to him right now. If you ain't, if you ain't seen everything that happened in this motherfucking stream, rewind it and get back up to date. Now, what's up, the Linster? Um, like, I saw, I peeped your videos. Good, good shit. Uh, thanks for tuning into my stream, man. Um, now, uh, I'm sorry about all the cursing, man, because, like, my my channel, if you didn't know, my channel is an explicit channel. But let me get back to this. Uh, I'm still going to have the chat post up right here. So, anyways, this nigga is still talking shit, and I'm like, I tell the coach, I tell coach, uh, like the coach of the baseball team, yo, keep an eye on him, keep him away from me, and keep 
keep an eye on him because as soon as some shit happens, yeah, you're gonna need to get in this ASAP. So keep an eye on him. So once that happens, he's still running his mouth. And then like the coach is telling us like stop it, stop it, whatever. And then I'm like, bitch ass nigga, what you about to do? So then I'm and then we get to arguing, and then he just kicks us out of the motherfucking gym class. He just kicks us out of the gym class, and I'm like, fuck, dude, like. Like, I really wanted to beat this nigga's ass because I wanted to get some, I, I was looking to get IRL footage for y'all, but I couldn't do it because this bitch ass nigga was running his mouth, trying to fight me, say you gonna rob me, stomp my face in, like, do all type of disrespectful shit, disrespecting me, you, my motherfucking squad, GBH, my family, my YouTube, like, I was about to go in on this nigga, bro. So, now, uh, I'm about to show y'all, I'm about to... Uh, put down the chat real quick just so I can show y'all um the um his Facebook real quick. I'm about to show you his Facebook real quick, really fast. So then once that happens, like he sent us to the dean's dean's room. Now like, um now now since my since everybody in the locker room saw what happened and my boys told him what happened, like I I only got an in school suspension. Thank thank God. Now. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's going to go on my record. But personally, I don't care. I really don't care. So, uh, as long as I don't get out of school suspension, I'm straight. So, as soon as... Like, he was supposed to get five days. Now, granted this, he put hands on me first. That's an automatic five days. If you put hands on anybody first, that's an automatic five days at my school. So, or or at least two... one In between one and, one and five, depending on how serious it is. So... Um, since my story checked out, I was in the right, he was in the wrong, like, um, like, and that's basically what happened. Now, I'm telling you this right now, and you can bet your ass, once I drop this album, if you do not follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is right here, or right there, or whatever it is, Where, wherever it is on the bottom of the screen, follow me on there, I tell y'all that I'm about to drop an album, I'm dropping diss tracks, I'm going the fuck off on this album. This this shit was is gonna be the hottest shit of the end of 2017 by far, simple. So and then this this is gonna be the first nigga that I'm gonna diss in this video. Now ha, now hold on, how do I get to my blocked um people on this page? Now hold on, uh, let me get to the um the chat real quick. Everybody in school wants always wants to always fight when um. Winning a logical argument. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas ain't with the talking, and they ain't about that action either. So then, once that happens, uh, like, like he's saying that he gonna rob me for... Hold on, hold on a quick second. Hold on a quick second. Like he's saying that he's gonna steal my babe shit. He's gonna he said that he was about to steal my babe shit. Like and this is this is what I do. I flex on my haters. I don't flex on anybody but my haters. Now he's just jealous because I'm I'm in here rocking real babe shit while he wearing little cars and shit. Like like Twenty One Savage said in his song, I be Gucci down while you wearing little cars and shit. That's what Twenty One Savage said in his song. Now you say you gonna rob me. You say you was gonna. Like, rob me for my shit? Do it then. I'm right. I ain't hiding. I'm not hiding nowhere. You know, you know I, where I be at. I be on the block. So, come pull up. And if you with it, bring it. If you br if you want to bring it, bring it. But I'm just telling you right now. I am not hiding. So, don't be coming up here like you trying to play me and shit. Like, like and I don't know who the fuck these niggas must take me for. But they really do not know me. They don't know me. They don't know what I've been through. They don't know what the fuck I don't been through in my life to get to where I'm at now. So these niggas better watch their motherfucking tongue when they talk to me. Because I'm going to just go off like Lil Uzi Vert, Quavo, and Travis Scott in that Fast and Furious song. I'm going to go off. Simple. Oh my lord. God damn that felt good. Now if I could find this nigga's Facebook. Hold on. If I could find his Facebook, because like, how do I get, and nobody even uses Facebook anyways. 
Why nobody even use Facebook anyway? And I can't I can't even figure out how to get to my damn Facebook from this damn phone. Oh my lord. I know. Okay, now I don't say whatever I don't got to say. Now I'm telling you right now, this diss track is coming at 400 subscribers. It's coming at 400 subscribers. So share this stream with your friends. Share this people with whoever you want to share it with. Now in the chat right now, if you're watching the chat, if you're watching the video right now, if you're watching the video right now or the chat, comment down below. Like, who is a bitch in this situation? If you're going to say me, I'm not really going to get offended because, like, I was in the right, he was in the wrong. I was about to beat this nigga's ass. So, who who do you think is a bitch in this situation? Come, comment that down below and, com and comment that in the chat while I look for this nigga's Facebook. Now, if, if you say me, like, I'm not going to get offended. I'm not going to get offended at all. But, like, also, this is going to be posted. I'm recording this right now, like, on, for my YouTube. Like, everything that you, if you're not tuned into the stream, like, um, this is going to be posted. This is going to be posted, um, hopefully tomorrow. It might be posted late tonight or, like, early in the morning or some shit because this is going up on my YouTube. Now the coach didn't let you guys fight. Now hold up. Uh now uh I wasn't about to fight him first. I I was about to um I was about to actually like see if he was gonna do something first because once he if he I'm waiting for him to make the first move. So it's like playing chess. Whoever makes the first move first, that's what triggers the next move. So I was waiting for him to swing first. If he swings first, that's what that's when the fuck I'm gonna go off. If I can find this nigga's Facebook right now and put his ass in the motherfucking world, I will. Account settings. Blocking. There we go. You done, nigga. You is fucking done. You are fucking done right now. You done, bitch ass nigga. You is fucking done. Now seriously, what the fuck do I look like entertaining a bitch ass nigga like this? What do I look like entertaining a bitch ass nigga like this? What do I look like entertaining a bitch ass nigga like him? This nigga ain't with the talk. He's nigga with the talking. He ain't about that action. What the fuck do I even need to entertain and give him my attention for? Anyway, this is Facebook. If you want to spam this shit up, be my guest. If you ain't got no Facebook, I'm not forcing y'all to do nothing. If y'all got, if y'all with, with GBH and my movement on my fucking diss track and my album that's coming soon at 400 subscribers. Spam this shit up. Let him know what time it is and tell him who sent you. Don't bite your tongue for this nigga. Don't bite your tongue for me. And don't bite your tongue for nobody else. I'm telling you that right now. That's his shit. That's his shit right there. Like what the fuck do I look like entertaining a Jimmy Butler looking ass nigga like this? 
Like, this nigga getting exposed right now. This nigga is getting exposed. What is fucking nappy ass? You know, I'm... Like, I swear to God, I don't even give a fuck if I get caught by my parents and shit. Like, I'm gonna go the fuck off on this diss track. I don't care if they hear it. I don't care if they fucking uh, say something to me about this. I don't care. I do not care. I do not give a single flying fuck. Now, you might want to call me a bitch for blocking him and shit. But really, nigga, the way I see it, I just fucking won. I won. You lost. Don't you ever disrespect me, my family, my squad, GBH, Glory Gang. Don't respect none of my little niggas. And damn for show, don't disrespect my YouTube. Don't do it. Now, I'm done. I don't send my piece for all I got to say now. Um, is he shorter than you? He's about my height. He's about my height. But he's a little bit. He's only buffer than me by like a little bit. Because I'm buffed up. As y'all can see, like, I'm a good I'm a good size for someone like me. Because like, I'm a little bit buffed up because of football training and whatever. So, like, I got the upper hand against this nigga. Because I've been doing football longer than him. He just joined the team. And this nigga, the fu the thing that I forgot to tell y'all that this nigga is on my team. Is on the football team. So, I already knew that this was drama set from the start. And then, like, if y'all CTK niggas, if you CTK niggas is walk watching my videos and snitching and sneak dissing and sneak dissing me, like, and everybody else that's associated with me, like, you can get some of this work, too. Because I know y'all dirty-ass CTK kids don't take no showers at all.